Papillon was partly inspired by The Awkward Year, a novel by one of Schumann's favorite writers, the German author known as Jean Paul. Although the individual pieces have numbers rather than titles, Schumann left very specific information in several letters regarding the imagery of Papillon. Schumann wrote that in Papillon, he had transformed the masked ball near the end of the novel into an incredibly imaginative musical scenario. Schumann wrote, please tell everyone to read the end of Jean Paul's The Awkward Year as soon as possible. Papillon transforms the masked ball scene into music. Everything is there in black and white, even the giant boot in F sharp minor. We might think to play this with the sonic effect of a huge boot stomping around the dance floor, but the actual description is quite different. Schumann also wanted Papillon to be completely understandable on its own without a literary program. And at one point, he promised a friend that he would share the secret to understanding Papillon. But Schumann never did. Here is the true secret to Papillon. The secret lies in the process of motific and thematic transformation. Considering the title, we could even call this musical metamorphosis. Some of these musical transformations are very obvious. It is very easy to hear the melodic pattern of number one as the new melodic pattern of the beginning of number seven. In number six, we hear a quiet passage in a fast tempo and in a varied and much grander form in number 10. Later in number 10, we hear a transformation of the passage that begins Papillon. This compositional process takes place all the way through Papillon. But in the finale, Schumann reaches an unprecedented level of originality. Schumann transforms the end of the novel into a fantastic musical scenario. At the beginning of the finale to Papillon, we hear the grandfather dance, a popular tune usually played and sung at the end of happy celebrations. Schumann is cueing us that the masked ball is nearing the end. But musically, the beginning of the grandfather tune is suggested in the previous piece. Following the presentation of the grandfather tune, 
Schumann brings back the waltz theme from number one and combines it with the first part of the grandfather dance. But soon we hear the waltz theme syncopated and set off the beat. This dance party is breaking up. We hear a long pedal tone that gives a hazy unreality to the final scene. In Jean Paul's novel, the character Vault has won the love of the beautiful Polish girl, Vina. His twin brother, Fult, is leaving forever. Walt hears his brother's flute gradually disappear into the distance as the clock strikes six. We hear six repeated A's in the high treble. At the end, Schumann makes the dominant A7 chord disappear by releasing the notes one by one. No previous composer had concentrated so much musical imagery and so many simultaneous elements in a solo piano piece. The brilliant transformations on the last page of Papillon are the product of Schumann's incredible imagination. Schumann was already a completely formed musical genius. Schumann's conscious musical construction and his subconscious chain of free association are what make Papillon a revolutionary masterpiece.